How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I took a little bit of time off uh, over the holidays as I'm sure you know, but I'm back and by God it is good. It is good to be back again. So hi everyone, I missed you. Uh, what I want to do today is go over a few things that changed over that little break and at the end of the video I want to fill you in on a little uh, a little secret, something that's actually it's not so little, it's pretty big for Castillet and it is exciting. Welcome to Stiller everyone, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if that's what you're into guys, uh, I'm guessing this is probably the channel for you. So you want to hit the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss anything. Alright guys, if you've been watching the channel regularly or for a while, uh, you would have noticed that I've been away for a little while. I took some time off to hang with the family um, and just sort of, you know, hit the, the pressure relief valve over the holidays. I was a little deluded. I thought that somehow I was going to be able to get stuck into some um, some long-term projects, but uh, yeah, Christmas and holidays and New Year's and all that with uh, three kids and everything. <laughs> I didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> but I'm back now, uh, and I am really excited to get stuck back into this stuff. I want to catch you up on a few things that are new, a few things that have turned up, uh, and like I said before, something that I'm really excited about as well. So. Here we go guys. First up, first up a couple of the Stillet viewers uh, were obviously listening pretty intently to some of the videos uh, and first of all uh, someone knew that I was running pretty low on decent glassware. So the dude sent me in a, uh, a set of two more Glen Cairns so thanks a bunch man. And a second one of the other Stillet viewers uh, obviously heard that I was uh, finding it hard to get my hands on decent maple syrup and sent in a big old bottle of amazing Canadian maple syrup. Uh, I think the day after it got here, my wife declared that we were having waffles and bacon for dinner. <laughs> Absolutely delicious, my man. Uh, she's had her taste and I'm going to make sure to reserve some of that for the distillery as well. But the same guy sent in a couple of spirits as well, and that's what I'm about to taste right now. This is the Crown Royal Rye, and um, I guess that you were listening really closely, dude, because I have never really tasted a, a really high percentage rye before. So, cheers, man. Interesting. Okay, so I get why people talk about rye and spicy. Um, I do get that. It is different to barrel spice. Hmm, interesting. This is quite nice. It's lighter than I thought it was going to be. Very, very interesting. I am definitely going to have to play with a high rye mash bill at some point in time. The second thing that he sent in was the Crown Royal Salted Caramel. It's like a Christmas release, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is so much caramel. Wow, that lollies. <laughs> Candy for the Americans. Um, wow. So things like this, if I put uh, whiskey in my head before I drink it, um, it just doesn't quite jive right with me. But, if you forget that it's whiskey and think of it more like a Christmas cocktail or something, it's absolutely delicious. Mmm, yum. Alright, thank you to both of you guys. Uh, I haven't used your real names here because I know sometimes that's not cool on this channel. If you are cool with people knowing who's who and what's what, um, sing out in the comments down below and uh, we'll go from there. Next up, I got another package all the way over from America. Hold on guys. Apparently the team at Brewing America uh, found the channel and decided they liked what they saw and they wanted to send me in a few things and see what I thought of them. So I guess what I've got here is uh, three of their hydrometer sets, two of which are hydrom hydrometers the standard one and one with a thermometer built into it, which is really interesting. I've not seen that before. So I'm looking forward to trying these guys. And the other is the alchemeter. So to be honest guys, no one's paying anyone for this. It's not that type of jam. I just wanted to see what I thought of it um, and see if I'd end up using them above anything else and give some feedback to them, which is pretty freaking cool. So thank you very much guys. Uh, they will definitely go into circulation and uh, next time I'm in need for one of these products. We'll give it a go and see what it's like. 
You guys have probably seen this sitting over there on the fermentation fridge and uh, it's entirely my fault that I haven't done anything with it yet. <laughs> Scuba Steve sent this in to me a long time ago, like uh, four months ago <laughs> or something and I feel absolutely horrible that I have yet to use it. Uh, but it's basically a giant four inch sight glass with a reducer and a thermometer on it and his idea was um, to put it at the top of the CCBM column so we could see some reflux happening and I think that's an excellent idea dude. Absolutely awesome idea. So anyway I just wanted to mention it, say what it's for, a couple of you guys with the keen eyes have spotted it sitting over there and wanted to know what's going on. That's the deal. I will get around to using it really soon. And um, thanks again for sending this in, man. It's a, it's a thing of freaking beauty. <laughs> and one final thing, wifey got me this, a skull bottle. <laughs> this thing is so freaking ridiculous that it's, um, it's almost cool. <laughs> Last year, she got me this. That's a Stormtrooper one. I'm, uh, I'm seeing a little bit of a trend here. I don't know guys, what do you reckon I should store in that? What do you reckon I should keep in that? I feel like it should be tequila, but I um, I can't make really tequila here. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you think. All right team, so that's mostly the new stuff around here. I've got a few more toys on the way actually, and I will be letting you know what those are as they turn up. But uh, onto the exciting, exciting part of the video. So here's the thing team, I found out a little while ago that I was uh, going to have to take a business trip to America and the family decided that we may as well roll a wee vacation into it as well. So it's not for a couple of months yet, but, but the exciting thing is that I've got like a day and a half free to go and do something else while in there as well and that, that is still a time. So let's back up a little bit. Let's jump back a second here, guys. If you're watching me, if you're watching Stillet and watching my videos, then uh, there's a few other channels that I almost guarantee that you have either seen or you should be watching. Number one is the Whiskey Tribe and the Whiskey Biscuit. If you don't know who those guys are, I would totally recommend you check them out. I will put links for all of the people that I mention down in the comments below. They're primarily, the Whiskey Vault is primarily a whiskey review channel, but it's a whole lot more than that. It's a whole lot of goofing off and um, ass hattery basically. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you check it out. Number two is Bearded and Bored. Bearded and I started our YouTube channels at a almost the exact same time and he was my very first YouTube buddy. <laughs> oh, the bromance is real. Anyway, if you haven't seen his video guys, I thoroughly recommend it. He doesn't do specifically distilling stuff, but he does do fermentation, he does do beer brewing, and he does do just other random guy hobby type stuff, I guess. He's got an awesome sense of humor and I would thoroughly recommend you checking out his videos. Number three is still in, in Canada. Now this is a little bit more of a new channel and it's a bit of a different bend. I guess he's going through the steps of setting himself up in distilling, but he has got some really awesome, really awesome skills from his other parts of his life. They're gonna make that channel really, really cool. Make sure you check out his stuff. Uh, and of course, number four is Barley and Hops. If you guys haven't seen videos by Barley and Hops, I don't know what you're doing on YouTube. George has been making videos forever and he's helped countless people. He's a really, really good guy. I have yet to um, actually talk to him directly, but I would love to do so. So if any of you know him, let him know that I'm trying to get hold of him. Check his videos out guys, because they are pretty cool. And the last one I want to mention is Claw Hammer Supply. Uh, they make distilling products, but because of the way things are in America, they're making mostly brewing beer videos at the moment. And by God, they are crazy rushing it so make sure you check their stuff out as well now i know we've been on a bit of a tangent there but the thing is here guys i'm trying to set you up basically i've got a little bit of time to get some things done and i would love i really 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 want to do some collaborations while i'm in america i've literally got two days to do it i'm absolutely flat out i've got no time but here's the thing guys i'm booked in to go and pick up my bottle of eleanor from the guys at the whiskey vault in austin texas so what I would love to know is what you guys want me to do while I'm there. What would you like to see? What would you like to see through someone else's eyes? Who would you like me to talk to? And what would you like to know when I talk to them? Now keep in mind that Daniel and Rex have got a pretty special thing going on. If you don't know what their specialties are, like I said, I'd really think you should check their channel out and get back to me. It just so happens that Bearded and Bored is 
pretty much just down the road as well. So I'm really, really keen to tee up with him as well. Uh, drinks break for the train. Like I said guys, I'm really hoping to tee up with Bearded and Bored. He's literally my oldest YouTube buddy and it would be awesome to meet him in person. So if you guys, so if you guys haven't checked his channel out, make sure you jump over there, let him know I sent you. Uh, and while you're there, have a think about what you think you would like us to do together. Now the rest of those channels I mentioned, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with them in this trip. But, but, I'd like to try and make this a little bit more, I wouldn't say a regular thing, but something that happens every now and again. So, so I am going to be thinking about what we could do with those other people as well. I'd like your input on that and I would also like your input on anyone else you think that I should be talking to. Anyone else out there that you think I should know of and anyone else that you think I should open a dialogue with and uh, at least find some possibilities. Anyway guys, I know this was a little bit of a weird video, but I wanted to uh, get back into it this week instead of waiting for next week. It was weird having time off. Uh, I wanted to let you all know too that I will be back uh, on all the normal channels and replying to your messages. So if I haven't done so yet, it's not because I don't care, it's not because I don't want to hear from you guys, it's just I was having some time off and I, uh, I was just off the grid for a little while. Anyway, there you have it guys. Uh, some cool new stuff around here which I'm very, very thankful for. Thank you to everyone that sent it in and got me things. I would love to hear from you guys to see who you would like me to team up with and what you would like to see us do. Alright, that's it for this week guys. I will be back at it hard and fast next week. So as always team, keep on chasing the craft. See ya.